Hey guys, my name is Jessie Mew, and welcome to a new series on my channel for a game called Seasons After Fall. If you haven't heard of this game before, it's about a fox with the magical, mystical ability to change the seasons at whim. And I can already tell from the title screen here that I am going to love this game because it has gorgeous music, it has a beautiful art style, so I'm really looking forward to diving into this and I hope you guys are too. Let's go ahead and get started. us? Oh, it doesn't look like I can control this guy just yet, but that must be our fox. It looks like he's running after something. He's definitely running towards something. All of those lights, it seemed, in the sky. And oh, okay, this is us. We are actually controlling this little ball of light, whatever this happens to be, and it's in the roots right now. Some sort of root system. And oh, hello. Hello, it looks like you're another one of uh, me. Oh, geez, oh, geez. <laughs> Maybe we shouldn't touch those guys. I don't want to pop them if um, they're my brethren here. Um, what is this here? Some uh, little flowers, it looks like. What can I do with you? We can click the mouse to bark at them. We can bark at them and oh my gosh, they actually open up the little gateway here. Okay, so we have to bark at the flowers to kind of clear our path, it looks like. And there's some uh, roots kind of blocking the way. Oh gosh, I'm sorry. I'm sorry, I don't mean to pop you guys. <laughs> you probably don't like that. So do you think the fox is coming toward us then? If we're one of these lights that are swirling around in the sky right now, then the fox must be uh, coming to see us. And here's another one of these. We'll bark at these guys so they can get out of our way. Thank you. Thank you, little flowers. Um, oh, geez. Oh, geez. It's a current, I guess. But we probably have to go in there, right? It's taking us where we need to be. Further up, um, is this like a tree, maybe? Maybe we're inside some sort of tree and we have to, like, navigate through all of these guys. Oh, my goodness. I hope I don't pop any of you. There we go. Not so bad. So we can just go up this current now. And, um, oh geez, now they're moving. <laughs> now they're moving. Oh, I don't want to pop you guys. I feel like I'm playing pinball here, just pinging off of these little things. Okay. Okay, let's just zip around this way and, oh no. <laughs> just a little bit too close to that one. But now we can go through this gate and straight into another current of some sort. So we must be getting close to wherever we're supposed to be. It's almost like we're climbing out of the roots right now, trying to weave our way through all of these other little balls of light. Are they spirits of some sort, maybe? Some sort of a spirit power energy source? I'm not really sure. Um, what's up here, though? What's up here? Let's see. Oh, you look a little bit menacing. What are you? You don't look like those little flowers. Um, can I bark at you, maybe? Oh, oh, that wasn't good. <laughs> maybe I shouldn't bark at him. Oh, dear. Oh, dear. Well, I'm going to assume that was supposed to happen. I'm going to assume that he was supposed to eat me there. Oh, there we go. Okay, so maybe we're, um, coming out of the roots now. Where are we? Let's see. There we are. Okay, so it kind of spat us out into the uh, surface, it looks like. You took a long time to wake up, Little Seed. If the Guardians were here, they'd give you serious reprimand. If you sleep too much, one day you'll lose yourself in your dreams and never wake up again. Yeah, that's exactly what the Guardians would say. But, luckily for you, I'm here to greet you today. And I'm much younger than them, so I won't lecture you. <laughs> Our second guest has arrived earlier than expected. Let's see who it is. Little Seed, in honor of this special day, may I introduce your present? Oh, it's our fox. No, oh, a wild fox. Ugh, it's better than nothing, I suppose. 
I would have preferred a smarter and better looking animal. A wolf, maybe. Still, you know what? It doesn't matter. We'll make do with this one. I don't mind a fox. Foxes are wonderful. Aren't they uh, known for being very clever? I think he would be just fine for us. Go up to him. Don't be afraid. So we can scoot on this way and go see our present. Gently. The fox is actually our present. I wonder what that means. Hello, little fox. You are adorable. Hey, too close. You'll frighten him. Oh, sorry. Come to you. Sorry, sorry. Um, let's see. Maybe I need to bark at him too. Oh, there we go. Now entice him to the center of the sanctuary. Oh, he liked that. Come on, little guy. Come on, let's go. Let's go toward the center of the sanctuary. Into the center. Let's see what's gonna happen here. Just a little further. He's very excited. He's very excited this to follow fox us. Is really slow. <laughs> a little bit slow, Good but he seems you. like he's happy with Perfect. it. Stay there, little seed. Leave the rest to me. All right, it seems like she's merging us with the fox. I wonder who she is. She mentioned the guardians before. Hey, presto. Now you have a body, you'll be able to visit the guardians of the seasons. I have no choice. I must stay here. So, where do I start? Hmm. Oh, I know. If you follow this path to the east and travel beyond the tall grass, You'll come to the edge of the woods. This is the domain of the Guardian of Winter. It has something I need, and you alone can get it for me. You'll realize what it is when you see it. But I won't give the surprise away. <laughs> okay, so we need to go off to the east to find the Guardian of Winter, she said. Yeah, I wonder who she is. She keeps mentioning these guardians, and she said she's much younger than the guardians, so she's not likely to uh, lecture us, which I guess is a good thing. We don't need to be lectured. But I wonder uh, who she is, why she needs us to find these guys. They have something that she needs. I mean, it looks like we have two ways that we could go. We could either go up on top this way, or we can come down here. So let's see what's down here first. Um, let's see. Well, it's a mushroom. <laughs> I can't really bark at this mushroom either, so that must not be the right way. Let's keep going up this way. We'll just bounce off of um, that big nice tree over here, and then we'll see what's on the top route. We must have to go back. It seems like there's going to be a little bit of backtracking in this game if there are different paths that we can't really unlock yet. And look at all this grass! Oh my gosh, that is amazing! I love the art style of this game. And now we're at the creek. Okay. Oh, even the backgrounds are gorgeous. Oh my gosh, and we're all like hidden in the grass. <laughs> this is so cute. I'll always be watching over you. Oh, at least she's nice. She's very nice. We have to give her that. And uh, oh, what was that? What are these? Are they little flowers? Oh, that is adorable. Like the pollen kind of kicks up in the fox's feet too. That is adorable. Oh, we have to make all of the flowers bloom. If we see those again, we'll have to make sure that we uh, run over them. So let's see. Oh, I love this. I absolutely love this. The art style kind of almost reminds me of Shelter in a way because it has that like painted storybook kind of feel to it. I absolutely love it though. And then, ooh, okay. <laughs> I wasn't expecting that. Bouncing on these uh, little onion things. All right. Is there anything over here that I can grab since I'm up here? I might as well look. Um, no, it looks like that's kind of a pathway back to um, where we were before. So we want to keep going forward. We'll keep going this way through the grass, through all of this tall, tall grass, and oh, oh, I saw those little flower speckles way up high, but I don't think we can reach it just yet. So we'll keep going this way toward um, the Guardian of Winter, I believe she said, and maybe we'll be able to come back there later and make those flowers bloom. Oh, look at this tree. Oh, look at this thing. This is pretty cool. There's one of those little onion pods way on top again, but I can't reach that one, so I guess we're not going to be bouncing off of that anytime soon. But let's continue this way. We have to go to the east to go find the Guardian of Winter. Um, there's another one. Okay, so we can bounce off of this one, it looks like. I just have to jump right on top of it. There we go. There we go. Um, no flowers up here for us to run over. But what's this? This little vine thing. I must have to bark at it. There we go. Okay, so it's kind of unraveling for us, giving us a little pathway. Oh, there we go. Almost fell there, but I caught myself. And now we're going way high up. It looks like we're leaving the creek entirely, too. So where is this one going to lead to? Let's see, the ancestors. Well, that's probably pretty close to uh, the guardians. It seems like a place where a guardian would be. You see these totems lining the path? 
They were sculpted by the Guardian of Winter. Interesting, aren't they? But it can't have been easy, with such big paws. Don't say too much about them when you see the Guardian. It might get upset. Oh, I wonder what type of animal the Guardian of Winter is then. Big paws. Okay, so it must be some type of like really big predator maybe. Um, like maybe a cougar or a bear. Oh, maybe a bear. A bear would probably be a pretty good one for um, winter. They like to hibernate through the winter though. He's probably very, very sleepy if that's the case. The Guardian loves sleeping amongst the totems. Follow them. They'll lead you to its lair. Well, he likes to sleep. Now we've learned that. So I'm guessing it's probably a bear. I have a feeling that it's probably going to end up being a bear. And it doesn't look like we can do anything up here yet either. And I can't really jump <laughs> that high and see on that other tree. So we'll just continue along this path, I think. And, um, oh. Oh, I don't know if I can bark um up that far. But there's that little jellyfish thing. What do you think that is? Can I bark to that guy? Oh, I can. The jellyfish kind of helps me out. What on earth is a little jellyfish doing here? You are adorable, but... Oh. Oh, wait a second. <laughs> are you trying to show me something? Or are you just, like, running away from me? Um, let's see. Oh, you went up into, um... Is that, like, a cracked totem, maybe? Well, that's interesting. I wonder if we're supposed to, like, wake up all of the totems. Because when we ran past them, they seemed to kind of, um... Well, their eyes lit up like they were waking up somehow. Um, can I bark at this thing? Oh, it doesn't look like it. I'm not sure what that is. It's glowing, though. Can't really bark at it just yet. And there's another jellyfish. Hello, little guy. Where are you going to go off to? We should probably follow him, make sure that we um know exactly where it's going. Maybe he's leading us toward where we're supposed to be. Let's see. Where are you going? Oh, no, I can't go that high. I'm not sure where you went. Oh, no. <laughs> well, I lost that jellyfish. I don't think we could go um, that high, though, without any um, special powers, because it seems like we're just a normal fox right now. So maybe the Guardian of Winter is going to be able to help us out, because supposedly you can uh, change the seasons in this game. And there is those flowers again. Yes, I love those. I love the little pollen that comes uh, bursting up underneath our fox's feet. Looks like a dead end, though. I actually hit a dead end, so I have to go find a different way. Uh, maybe it's over this way instead. I'm not sure what this thing is either. This thing with this huge mouth. Can I bark at this guy? No, no, that's interesting though. It's very uh, menacing looking. Almost reminds me of like the piranha plants in uh, Mario. But what is this? We're in a little cave now and I see these little like little um, dangling things. There they are. Those little dangling um, ornaments of some sort. Do you think... Oh, maybe this is the lair of the Winter Guardian. It is. And he is a bear. A giant grizzly bear. Oh, my goodness. Look at you, sir. We are so tiny compared to you. Please don't be angry <laughs> that we're coming to visit you. <laughs> it might not be the best idea to wake up the sleeping grizzly. What is that? It looks very cold, whatever it is. But that makes sense. He is the guardian of winter. Maybe it's a little winter essence of some sort. <laughs> Back to sleep for the big bear. Oh, you are adorable, sir. You are absolutely adorable. And there we go. We can actually, like, come back up to this guy. Can I talk to you a little bit? No, <laughs> he's so cute though. I love this game. I love how adorable these guys look and I can even jump on the bear. Oh gosh, that's probably not a good idea though. We don't really need to wake him up any more than he already is. And this thing is really zipping off away from me. Wait a second, little guy. I think I need you. I sense you're on the way back, little seed, with a fragment of winter. I think it's trying to communicate with you. It may react if you bark. Bark twice if it's a bit deaf. All right, bark twice. Oop, that was three times. <laughs> Got a little overexcited, but he didn't mind. Our fragment of winter made it into winter. Look at this. Oh, geez, are you going to spit something out? You look like you're getting ready to do something. This was um that plant with the big mouth, right? Um, and now it has this little glowing pod on it. Let's see, what is this going to do? Um, oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. It did spit out something. Whoa, this is huge. <laughs> okay, but it gave us like a little pathway so we can get back on top of these trees right here. So that's not that bad. 
Now we can uh, go back this way and follow the fragment all the way back to uh, that little sanctuary, I think it was called. Because um, this voice, whoever she is, seems to want this fragment for some reason. So we'll have to go over there and uh, deliver it to her. I do wonder who she is, though. I do really wonder. Hopefully um, she'll be able to explain that soon. And okay, we seem to have this big gap. I wonder if we need to change it back to a previous season? Because typically we could unravel these little vines here. So let's see. Can I change it back? I can! All right! So now we can bark and unravel this little vine, and then we can zip right over here. There we go! All right, that was pretty cool. Um, let's see if this does anything if it's winter. Let's see. Um, well, it closes up. That makes sense, though. It's too cold for these plants to survive in the wintertime right now, so we definitely want to uh, continue on. There must be a different season that we have to... Uh... You really me. You're quicker than I thought. Just goes to show, you can't judge a book by its cover. The fragment's heading towards the sanctuary. Don't let it out of your sight. Yeah, there must be a different season that we have to activate to um, actually use those different plants. And this thing again, this thing. Okay, so we must have to, uh, there's the pod. Okay, we must have to jump on that again. But it looks like maybe we have to climb up this way to do that. There we go. Okay, and then we just have to time it just right. There we go. Okay, now it should spit out another huge ball of snow. Gosh, I don't want to get under those when it's spitting those out. That would not be uh, bad news for a fox, I have a feeling. So we'll just continue on this way. Um, the totems are back. Okay, so we're getting closer. I wonder if, uh, yeah, maybe we should like wake all of these guys up, especially since it's all snowy. They're probably very, very cold right now. So we'll go ahead and wake all of these up and uh, there's no more flowers around here, right? I don't want to accidentally like miss a little flower. Um, yeah, I think we're okay. So we'll just continue this way back toward the creek, I believe. We'll have to go through the creek again and then we should be right in the uh, middle of the sanctuary. We'll be able to deliver this little fragment to that voice, whoever she happens to be. And then we can see what happens. There we go, back in the creek. So we'll carry on this way. Um, I'm assuming it should, oh, maybe not. I was assuming that we should keep it as a winter, but that kind of went away because it's too cold for that little vine. But I'm sure, Um, oh, oh, we would have missed those flowers if I had changed the season. So there we go, all good. We managed to get a little bit more of those flowers and we can continue on, on the bottom route anyway. That's not too bad. And okay, here's one of those onions again. Um, we don't need to bounce on it, thankfully, because our fox can jump pretty high. He can actually jump very, very high. So we didn't need to change the seasons and it looks like um here's another tree of some sort oh that was the tree that we were looking at before i think okay and this little guy made like a little carving it looks like that's interesting what is this it almost looks like a little um spirit of some sort i'm not sure what that would be this was the tree with the big uh, onion pod way up on top though i don't suppose the guardian of winter told you anything Ugh, you have to excuse it it's always very tired and, between you and me, a tad grouchy, too. The Guardian is so bad-tempered that even the animals don't venture into this forest. It's interesting. She doesn't really seem too impressed with the Guardians, in all honesty. The Guardians may appear wise, but basically, they're very old. So old that they tend to talk rubbish. But, luckily, they're here to protect the fragments. They just have to learn how to let go of them. Yeah, very interesting. She doesn't seem too uh, impressed by those guys. But let's see, there must be um, another way to send some snow out. Oh, there it is, right there waiting for us. So if I bounce off of that, there we go. We hit it with our um, little fox head. Then we can just wait for this guy to spit out another huge mound of snow. Where does it even get all this snow? And then we can zip up there. Our fox jumps very, very high. And there we go. There is that little onion thing again. So let's change the season. Um, maybe. Where's my little guy? Can you change the season for me, please? Thank you. There we go. And then uh, we can bounce on this and yeah, get all the way to the other side. All right. Not too hard at all. And now we're back in the sanctuary, correct? There we go. Back in the sanctuary. So if we bring this guy to the middle, um, hopefully the, li the little voice will be happy. And what is this? What is this? <laughs> oh my gosh. Huge roots blocking our way. That's no good. Look, little seed. The 
fragment's already in place. It's waiting for you. Move into the center. Go on. Don't be afraid. Oh, maybe she's going to uh, merge us with that fragment as well. She did merge us with um, the fox to begin with. So maybe she's going to like combine our powers so that we can use it in the future. Let's see. We'll get all the way to the middle and then we'll see what happens here. There we go. I'm going to have to separate you from the fox. The fragment may react violently during the merge process. I'll be as careful as I can, but it's still a tricky procedure. I think it would be best for the fox to get out of the way. Well, that sounds a little bit more menacing than I was expecting. Okay. So she's going to bring us back out of the fox, it seems, and then... She must be combining us with the a fragment. Yeah, that's what it looks like. Okay. So there's our fragment of winter that we um, received from the Winter Guardian. The giant grizzly bear off in the caves. And now we can change the seasons. At least to winter. Yeah, it's been so long since we've seen snow here. Now it's winter for good. Well, here's someone who sure hates ceremonies. You should possess the fox again before he escapes. <laughs> that fox is so cute. Oh my gosh. He was off this way, right? I think he was off this way. He's very impatient, though. He wants us to hurry on up. He's probably cold, in all honesty. Oh, so cute. Listen, little seed. There are four seasons, four guardians. If you merge with the other seasons, you can invoke them at any time. But to do that, we need the fragments. The second guardian lives in a swamp further to the west. I should warn you, this one doesn't like visitors. So keep nice and quiet. Okay, so it sounds like that's what we can do in the next episode. We'll be going off to the west to go discover the swamps and hopefully find the second guardian of the seasons. So I hope you guys are enjoying this game. I absolutely love it. It is so adorable and I am really looking forward to continuing it down the line. So thank you guys so much for watching today and I will see you all next time. Bye guys!